Okay, good morning. So, today is my last um, major test, <laughs> pregnancy test, routine testing. Um, and my hair is crazy. So, I'm going to figure out what to do with my hair. But, yeah. We're going in for the um, glucose test, which is testing for gestational diabetes. And... I had to fast last night and this morning. Well, no, I had to fast this morning. I ate last night. Um, my chicken and rice last night. And yeah, I couldn't eat this morning or even drink water, which is like torture for me because usually the first thing I do when I get up is eat because I'm usually starving. But it is a mindset thing. I like prepared myself for like not eating this morning. So we are putting the strength of the mind over the body. And so far, so good. I have my, I have to go drink the drink in about a half hour. We have to leave here like really soon. And then um, I have, you have to wait an hour. That's like the annoying part. You have to wait an hour and then go back. So we probably won't get to eat until like 11.30. But again, mind over body. I'm just like meditating and all that's like that. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I've done three of the big testing. I've done more. I've done like my own genetics, but I've done the baby one for um, like the chromosome testing. And then I did um, the spina bifida one. And those all came back good. Um, low risk. And then Yeah, and then of course when I go to my OBGYN, they always do um, like testing in your urine for protein and sugar levels, but this is like the big one today. And so I'm just ready for it. I just, you know, people, what I've noticed in pregnancy is people really wanna like kind of scare you. Like I know there's obviously risks and I'm all about people sharing their own journey and story. Like definitely do that for people who encounter things in their pregnancy like that's what I'm doing right I'm like journaling my experience and that's it but I'm, I would never project onto someone well this happened to me so it's gonna happen to you you know what I mean and I feel like a lot of people do that like fear thing it's like well this happened to me so watch out for that before it even happens to that person and I just feel like it's such an intimate thing with your doctor and your body and all that stuff like that that like it really shouldn't be projected onto someone else like share your story of going through it for sure because like it helps other people but to like say it on people who are pregnant and stuff I don't know it just caused me like kind of like I don't know. I just, I don't like that energy. So yeah. Um, but having said all that, like I have a little app I follow and obviously at the 24 weeks to 28 weeks, it's like, okay, this is when you do your gestational testing, your glucose testing and all that stuff. Um, and you know, like there's, there's, so, there's one, it's not the end of the world. Like if you do get it right, like obviously you're a higher risk. You have to check your blood levels, all that stuff like that. Like I check my blood pressure like every day. Cause that was like a big thing the doctor said is like, if your blood pressure ever gets high, especially later on in the pregnancy, my blood pressure has been always really good at the doctor's office, but you know, still just to be safe because obviously these are serious things. Um, and same thing with this, you know, I was reading like, you know, people who do get it, it's like two to 10% of pregnant women. That's what it said on my what to expect app, um, get it. And they said, you know, it's not, it can be manageable. Um, there's different levels of it. Um, all that stuff like that. Um, but I just go in with like, you know, and it, and it happens to all types of people. I, I hate that too. Like, I feel like a lot of people project it onto me because of like my weight or what they, they see I eat like once a week or, you know, I haven't even done nothing in so long, but like, and I, it's just, that's just, it doesn't, you can't look at someone and be like, yep, you're going to be at risk for it. You know, um, obviously people who are like overweight and stuff like that are always going to be at higher risk for this stuff. So like, Again, I get it, but it's just like something to like not project, you know, people. And a lot of people who do get to have like healthy, you know, pregnancies and delivery and all stuff like that. So I just don't like that. It's like so, ugh, people just project it so bad. And of course it can be so serious. I'm not like trying to take away the seriousness of it at all. Um, but anyways, that's what we're doing today. And did a little meditation with baby this morning. I really feel her every morning. She rolls around in there, <laughs> so that makes me happy. Um, it's pretty cool to feel. It's always like in the morning, I feel. I don't know if it's because I've been sleeping on my tummy and I need to probably stop. She's probably like, okay, enough with the tummy. I did buy a pregnancy pillow. I need to start using that. 
it's just so big and awkward. Like, it's such a weird thing to, like, bring into the bed. Be like, okay, good night. I mean, we haven't been, like, usually I cuddle and fall asleep on Moses, but because my stuffed up nose and, like, heartburn, I, I, prop, I have, like, three pillows propped up. And I just kind of, like, because he's too far down there, so I kind of just lay up on there. And it's just, I kind of miss it, though. I miss the cuddling. We do. We Sometimes we try it for, like, five minutes, and then I get up, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, like, <laughs> breathe and not get heartburn before I go to sleep, so... That is that. Um, but yeah, that's our day. We'll probably go get food after because I haven't eaten since 8 o'clock last night, which is oh, awful. I know even after pregnancy, I'm going to go to eating breakfast because it really does like help me not overeat throughout the rest of the day. So, okay. I think that's like the best I'm going to get with this hair. I do like the shine spray. I've been using the shine. This is what I use after the shower. Okay. If I'm in a hurry, this is what I use after the shower. I use this to detangle, and then I use this liquid glass from dry. I gotta get my nails today too. Don't look at my nails. Um, this on damp hair, this on like wet hair, and then I use this on dry hair. And this stuff like is pretty good shine. And I don't really care that much about my hair being shiny today because I'm not like doing a filming day or anything. Let's see how this looks. I'm not wearing any makeup because why? Oh. Okay. We're off. We're starting our mornings. We're going separate directions. You were just telling me your day. I was like, wait, let me vlog this. So interesting. Okay, what is your plan? I'm going to go to the water museum, water some of my plants, mm -hmm. talk to the neighbors. Then I'm going to Malibu to mm -hmm. pick up some more of the big plants that got us for our garden. See, like, I have purses. You're always like, oh, do you need more purses? I'm like that with your plants. I'm like, do we really need more plants? We have so many plants. Then I'm going to get home, do some work on Sad Boy, the new launch soon, the Yay. Shopify stuff. Then we have so much. I want to paint. <laughs> You're going to do all that <laughs> the today? Nursery, and we're going to go on a walk. The walk is the big highlight, so stay tuned for that. I got For me, that's the highlight. Me too. I got wide width sneakers. I'm so excited. Look what you got. Logan Paul stand over here. Oh, it is? Yeah. What? Prime. We got to try it. I know. So it drops. He like, said that. It's pretty cool to be in, like, in a big store. Like yeah. That. They said that Ice Pop one was the best. I like grapes in general, so I saw a grape <laughs> picture. I left that one for you. <laughs> really? I don't know if I can drink that. Can I? Because I'm pregnant. Oh, I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's an energy drink or it's a... Uh... It is caffeine-free, but I feel like there's probably something in there that I can't drink. Well, they'll let us know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not drinking it right now, but I want to try it because I was here, Logan, talking about it. Coconut water. It's him and KSI. They they did it together. Cool. I guess. So, so I'd say that they had a fight and then they were like, let's make some drinks. <laughs> yeah, I guess they know we had so much money. Make sure you vlog your day, babe. I love you. Right. Well, vlog what you can. I know you're busy, but. Fun. Okay. I'm going to go get a pedicure because I need my toes done. And then lunch. And then walk. That's my day. Yesterday was the busy work day, so are you walking oh me God. to my car? 14 hours. 14 hours? Yeah. Yeah, because by the time we we're done, like, filming, editing, everything, yeah. And I only edited one But that's the thing video. people don't get. When you say you work two days a week, that's not true. Those two days are, like, 12-hour <laughs> days of filming, but for each one of those days, there's mm. a full day of editing, mm -hmm. and then after that, there's a full day of planning ahead, you know, yeah. getting the props, ideas, and everything. So you work all, all day, every day. But that's fun for me. Yeah. And filming's fun too, which is the most. But it's just like exertion. I want to think that, oh, it's like you work for two days and then the rest of the week nothing is happening. That's how I no, feel though, because I work for my bed, so I feel like I can just. But yeah. That's why I made you that bed. I love that bed; it's my favorite. <laughs> All right, well, have a great day, babe. I love you. One bagel. I want you. Okay. <laughs> so excited with the fact that I did not have to put product in my hair today because I was like, it's my day off. I'm not going to put product in my hair. My hair looks good. And then I rolled down my window for literally one second and my hair became dry, so. And that's my morning. <laughs> I grabbed a bagel because I'm going to go get a pedicure with my mom and sis. And I just get really hungry in the morning. And then I get hungry at lunchtime. And at nighttime, I just don't get that hungry. I have, like, popcorn or, like, a sandwich or something. But we rarely have, like, a big dinner. I usually have, like, a big lunch. Um, but, yeah, in the morning, I tend to get, like, more just hunger pains. It doesn't even feel like hunger pains. It feels like just like empty stomach, even though I'm not hungry, but I love playing bagels. Sometimes I like put cream cheese on it, but we got a dry ass bagel today. So, how's everyone doing? 
I really have nothing to say this morning. Usually I have some inspirational thoughts coming to my head, but I'm so over having stuffy noses because I always feel like there's something in my nose. Mmm. I blow my nose all day. This Target dress is literally my favorite thing ever. I'm obsessed with Target. Like, their clothes are so cute. And they're forgiving in size. Because, like, I always said, and I always talk about this, and I always rant about it. The Target Plus size is, like, bullshit. It's literally so ugly. But. Oh, here's a peek. Yeah. Mm. It says Imperfect Foods. Like a bright pink. Yeah. But their st standard sizes are, like, really big and forgiving. So I've been able to wear a double XL comfortably. Being six months pregnant, being plus size, all of that. But, yeah. Finally get to wear my wide width shoes. <laughs> I'm so excited to try those tonight. So when I work out my feet, they hurt so bad. They get squeezed. They were always a little tight before, but now pregnant feet. Mm -mm. And then, like, I'm 24 weeks and, like, five days today. <laughs> I feel like I literally popped. Like, once I hit the six-month mark, it was like, and here's your pregnant belly. So, I've been getting cocoa butter and stuff. Like, my life was saying, like, you know, you can't really do anything to stop stretch marks. But then I have friends that, like, swear by cocoa butter for stretch marks. I've actually, like, been fortunate in my life to, like, never have to deal with stretch marks. Again, I don't mind. I said this in my life. Like, obviously, I don't mind it. It's part of pregnancy, and I'm proud of it. And, like, I'm proud to be able to carry my child. And, you know, it's a, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing I don't take for granted because it is such a special. It's, like, a gift, you know? Um, <coughs> um, so, having said that, it's, like, stretch marks part of it. Yeah, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Um... So, but I, I was going to just do it anyways because my, my belly is dry, so I should probably lather it up anyways. Y'all know I like dry, but this is a little... I think because I've been holding it out for so long. I was like doing my purse around and stuff. I don't know if I have finished this bag on. I have other snacks in my purse. Hmm... Mm. Tasting. I think it's just too dry for me. I think we should leave it there for now. <laughs> but that's my morning. I decided to vlog and say hi. I've been feeling really good and positive energy, and like I just feel like it. It like shows, you know. There's YouTubers I watch, and you just like watch them and you're like oh they just seem happy and you just like seem happier for watching them i feel like for so long even unknowingly i just put out bad vibes because i've always like you know i was i would be like down on myself or depressed or like i was just like oh why me poor me like i'll always be alone like i was always that person which is like fine you know you need to like grasp what you're feeling and stuff but i feel like when you feel that way about yourself it kind of like just protrudes out like it just shows and of course there were times I was happy. It's not like I was like always miserable, but I think I think now's the time I want to vlog, even if I have nothing to say, because I just feel love and I just feel change and I'm just excited to be alive, you know? The happiest I've ever been to wake up every day and it's a good feeling. So thought I would vlog this energy for you and I'm gonna pass it on to you so we can radiate on this high frequency together. Just went into the store. I'm doing a Pride ASMR. I think I'm gonna do like Big Sister helps you come out, Teacher helps you come out, Mom helps you come out. Something like that, just sort of like a comforting thing. So I got these cupcakes so I can be my props. And then I got a bag of chips. <sighs> I just need a snack. I need a oh, little pick me up. The store was. I'm definitely not crowded today, but I just love getting chips at the store. Mm. We used to do it all the time when I was a kid. 
I go grocery shopping with my mom. She always pick out chips when we eat them in the car home. Mmm, it's so good. I should have gotten a water and stuff there, see. But, I got my toes done. I hung out with my family and my mom. My mom's going to Florida. So random, but I'm happy for her. I know she's going to have fun there. Go on vacation. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah. I was going to the grocery store midday. Well, early mornings, but if you go midday, literally, no one will bother you. I never really go alone. I just go to places with Moses because I was just picking up like cupcakes. I was like, I was running. And I wanted to see what pride like stuff they have. They didn't have a lot, but. I know we're gonna go on a walk tonight, so. It's time to do chips. I can't wait to try my new shoes. <laughs> I'm going to try for so long. I feel like it's gonna change my whole workout game. Mm. I think we have so many chips at home too for Memorial Day. What we never open. for calling my name. I'm always looking for the doubles so if you're wondering why I'm shaking the bag. I like to find the folded over chips. Those are my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. I got so many compliments on this dress everywhere I go. And I always tell people, Target. Yeah, I'm there right now. Five dollars. Much has happened today. I was like sucked up vlogging today, but you know, we try every day. <laughs> well, we didn't end up going for a walk, and instead, we were watching Lost and eating pizza. And I think I finally popped y'all. This is the first time I feel like I have a tray. <laughs> I was gonna do my spaghetti on here because I was like, oh, look, a tray. But I feel so pregnant. <laughs> do I look pregnant? It's about damn time. It's about damn time. Ending the day with my husband. Do you see the caption I posted on Instagram? No, why? I was at, uh, I am laying on the couch, six months pregnant. Let my husband go get his takeout. Life is good, watching loss. And I was like, three years ago, I never thought this would be my life. I was like, I felt unloved, unwanted, a mess spiraling down. And now I feel so happy. Now you're like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Oh, I love that. Oh, don't say phoenix. Everyone thinks it's phoenix. Paid as Hackman. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I do like that name. It's from your song. How's it go? Um, oh, man. It's a tough one because at the moment I'm like, like a phoenix. <laughs> you tell me. It's that. That. Dun 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 from the ashes just like a phoenix. How do you know that one? I remember all these songs. Can you sing one song for me? From which one? Can you sing Drive Shaft? We are everybody. We are everybody. Let me show you. No. Babe, you look so cute right now. You look like you're unlost because you have the green shirt and the the trees behind you. I am lost. This is my pillow fort. <laughs> <laughs> I have all my pillows set up. So these are really sturdy pillows made by most. These are like the, what would you call them? Like the firmest. Firmest? I don't know. They're like really like 
heavy. Well, they're the like sand. Well, the cushions are firm, and then the but the pillows, pillows are, are heavy. <laughs> like I can't barely lift them. Right. I mean, they're big, full, but they're soft. Like you. Do I look tiny next to them? You look so small. <laughs> Okay, that was, I wanted to try on my, I've been saying all day how excited I am for these wide width Nike shoes for fast feet. And I didn't even get them on because I just felt tired. Well, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Sounds like a plan. You worked hard, so. Thanks. Okay. Watching last, we're on the last episode of season three. And so far, season three has been the freaking best. I might have to do an emergency loss podcast and fast forward to these last episodes because I have a lot to say about them. So stay tuned for that for all those fans of the last <laughs> podcast. And that's it. And this is baby. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Okay, that's it. All right. Good night. Good night.